welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be doing a new type of video. We're going to be doing an unboxing video. So yeah, we're going to see. We're going to be unboxing. Well, I've already unboxed one because it didn't really come in a box. Um, Some Warhammer stuff. So there is, first of all, the, the Citadel... Um, the, the Citadel paint, the water paint thingy, and, um, also, uh, the Warhammer 40k paint and tool set. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna see what's in both of them, and first of all, we're gonna start with this, because it's quite small. But everything you see on this video, I can see right now through the recording thing, it, it looks quite big. But believe me, it's not, okay? This here looks absolutely massive on the screen. It's not. It's about the size of my hand. It's, I, I thought it would be bigger. I, I watch like YouTube videos on it and stuff. It's um, it's actually quite small. But now we can see why it's quite small. Because the stuff in it clearly isn't that big. But um, yeah, I'm going to go into this thing first. Now here you might see, even even if I put it like that, that this whole thing is... um is used to put water in but really it's not there's this just this little thing that doesn't really matter though because like you only need a little amount of water for water like clean clean the brush anyway so that's done um now over to this we're going to be unboxing it you can see the contents it comes with a mold line remover um some clippers to take out the uh the miniatures 13 paints and one starter brush here. So we're gonna be unboxing it. Um, let's have a look. Okay, right. So. Wow. Okay, all right. The package did look a bit, it did have a bit of, um, you know, like, scratches, you know. That. Anyway, let's have a look at what we have here. So, first of all, we got our starter brush. Comes here with a nice little lid for our brush. Fine tip as well. That's nice if we can put this thing back on. Okay, right. This looks quite good. Um, I, I think for Warhammer, you do need to use, like, quite a lot of different brushes for some different stuff. But you can just use one brush if it's like this, you know. Yeah, it just takes you a bit long, I think. Um, Yeah, then I'm going to move on to here. We've got the mold line remover now. Yeah, it feels all right. It's just... um. There's another one that they sell in, in the shop that has like um it's like eleven pounds. It's got like it's got it's got, it's got a bigger handle so you have more grip. So if 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 this was a bit longer it would be ideal, but it does do its job if you you know, like can get a good grip on it. Um Yeah, we're just gonna go through the tools first. Now here are the clippers. They Yeah. You know, they think they'll do their job. They're 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 fine, yeah. And again, these aren't the ones that you can get in 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 the Warhammer store. They're like um, the the other one, the other ones are twenty one quid, and this set was like, well, this set is originally priced twenty seven pound fifty. So yeah, like it's quite a good deal just to get these with the with the branding and everything on it. So yeah, there are the tools. They're now over to the paints. Um, so here we are then. Uh, they they have actually come a bit, you know, fallen over and everything. But yeah, we're going to put them back in. And we're just, just going to go through the whole thing. So let's have a look here at this this first one. It's, um, it's a bad and black. It's a base. Okay. I, I won't be explaining the paints, like, I do know a bit about Warhammer, I've painted, like, a figure, and, you know, I've went to the store and did, like, a tutorial and stuff, but, like, except from that, I'm quite new to it, so I'm just ordering some starter stuff, paints are hard to get out, yeah, um, 
I do know like some of the paints. I've watched quite a lot of videos on Warhammer. So these are this is redistribute, yeah, re re retributor armor. That's it. Yeah, it's for like armory gold stuff. You know, um, with all of these, by the way, apparently you've got to give the paints a really good shake. And yeah, I don't know how to tell. If, um, like, when to stop shaking, but, um, I've just seen, like, oh, I did just cut the video off there, because, um, I, I just did all the unboxing, so as, as you know, we, um, we did, all, we did all the tools first, all that, so we, we've gone through all of that, and now... I've, I've just put the paints into sections, so I'm going to start biggest to smallest. First of all, these are all of, of the base paints that come in the set. There are quite a lot of them. I'm just going to go through the contents with you guys, because um, first of all, when I bought this, I did want to know what the contents of the paints were. It's quite hard to like zoom in on, on an image, so I'm just going to go through all of the paints for you guys, starting with the base colours. So, you've got We've got Corax White. You then have Bugman's Glow. Ooh. You then have Rune Lord Brass, which has quite a weird, like, but yeah. Then we have. The Retributor Armour. Then we do have... Evil and Sunset. Um... Lead Belcher. Quite common here. Um... A Bad and Black. Which I did show you guys at the start of the video. Mephist and Red. And obviously we have McCrag Blue for um for the for the Space Marines, which is the only kind of thing I really know. I I do want to start getting into Warhammer, but this is like I know that this paint is for like the Space Marine or Ultramarine armor thing. So yeah, it's good. Um, then we got the technical colors. Um, so we got um we got Astro Astro Granite, I think that is. Yeah, I think Astro Granite. Um, and then you've got Tesseract Glow. So I don't know what technical colors are really, but like they they look quite cool. I quite like this one. Nice and neat, neony, glowy. You know. All right, we've got that. Then um, these there's a uh, each one of these um. I do know what some of these are actually. So, like, there's a layer which I don't know what it is, but um, it's Rune Fang Steel, which is like um, it's, I don't know it's kind of got like those cracks in. I don't I don't know if it's meant to be there. It would just let my camera focus a second. There we go. If it's meant to be there, or if it's like, you know, it was like part of the texture or not. But um, yeah, them. We have, um, I, I do know what this one is here, because they showed me at the store, um, it's a shade, otherwise known as a wash, um, you can have different ones of these, and, like, they basically, they outline details on, on the figures, I, um, yeah, it's basically it, um, oh, that was, that was, was good unboxing there, so, I would say, because the paints do cost, specially base paints, um, of how many of them do come in, I do think there's, uh, like, quite a lot of paints in total here, so, like, they do, obviously, it's probably a good value set, but, um, just to tell you, the shades do come in, like, th this isn't a normal, um, like, pot for the shade, the shade pots are usually bigger, uh, this is, this is like a half pot, um, so I don't know about this, but yeah, um, it was quite good, so there we go, 
I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe. And subscribe for, for me for now. Just before I do go, I will leave my review. I would say good value for your money. Um, comes with a variety to help you get started. It's got like some simple colors like the McCragger blue for the Space Marines and stuff. So yeah, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next video. And it's bye from me for now. Bye.